both Michael and Coco use a modified version of American Sign Language due to the musculoskeletal differences between gorillas and humans. When asked about his mother, Michael told Penny a very disturbing story. He signed North, Trouble, and Cut Me. Humans have a propensity to overestimate our position at the top of the food chain. We take for granted that we are the most intelligent animals on the planet without ever questioning what distinguishes us. Is it object persistence, planning ability, tool use or the fact that humans build complex social relationships? Other animal species have some of these characteristics and others have all of them. Many species' survival would be impossible without their particular intelligence. Many animals are able to navigate their area securely and seek food by learning to recognize distinct paths and landmarks along the way. To avoid becoming a meal, some must recall tactics for dodging and outwitting predators, and many animals develop emotional intelligence that may surprise you. But what if we told you that there is one gorilla who mastered sign language and revealed something quite disturbing? How is this even possible? Stay until the end to know everything about this tragic story. Michael the gorilla was born in Africa, became a bushmeat orphan and arrived from the Vienna Zoo to the Gorilla Foundation in the United States at the age of three, joining Coco, another female gorilla, when she was six. Michael possessed a working vocabulary of approximately 600 signs in American Sign Language, which he had learned from Coco, Dr. Francine Patterson, to whom the gorillas referred using the sign penny, and other Stanford University personnel. Michael spent the majority of his life in Woodside, California, where he rose to fame as a local celebrity and painter known for his vibrantly colored abstract works. Michael's favorite color was yellow and he enjoyed watching Sesame Street and Mr. Rogers. He liked to look at photographs and listen to Luciano Pavarotti. Michael also enjoyed painting and took it seriously, as opposed to Coco who painted for fun. Michael's parents were murdered when he was a newborn. According to the film Coco Conservation with a Gorilla, his handlers believed he was attempting to explain his mother's death at the hands of poachers through sign language. He was taken to live with Coco at Stanford when he was three years old. Within his first year at the Gorilla Foundation, Michael learnt 20 words. The following is an example of Michael's description of an event that humans at the Gorilla Foundation believed to be his mother's death, killed by bushmeat poachers when he was young. Squash meat gorilla, mouth tooth, cry sharp, noise loud, bad think trouble, look face, cut neck clip, hole. Both Michael and Coco used the word stink to refer to flowers, and they used the word lip to refer to girl. The two gorillas used a modified version of American Sign Language signs that were modified for their physical abilities. This was necessary due to the fact that humans and apes have fundamentally different musculoskeletal structures. Deaf people who use sign language frequently come up with new signs by combining two or more existing signs in order to represent a notion for which they do not have a sign. In addition, signs are sometimes repeated or emphasized in an exaggerated manner to convey emphasis. The strategies of repetition, exaggeration and the development of new signs by combining existing signs are also utilized by the so-called simian signers. Unfortunately, Michael died in the year 2000 at the age of 27. However, researchers continue to learn and be inspired by him. Through his life, his ongoing effect on Coco, the tremendous amount of data they gathered on him and the exciting current brain research that provide biological context for his amazing intelligence and sensitivity. Michael's capacity to sign the execution of his mother demonstrates how gorillas are not only capable of communicating their desires and needs, but also of looking back and reflecting on memories. These extraordinarily intelligent creatures are aware of pain and have feelings about events in their lives. Coco also later died in her sleep at age 46. According to the Gorilla Foundation, she became an international celebrity during her lifetime with a repertoire of over 1,000 signals and the ability to understand 2,000 words of spoken English. Coco appeared on the cover of National Geographic magazine twice, the first time in October 1978 with an image of herself in a mirror, perhaps making it one of the earliest prominent animal selfies. She also appeared on the cover for the second time in January 1985 in a story about Coco and her beloved Kitty. 
as the most publicized member of the critically endangered western lowland gorilla population, Coco helped raise awareness for her species plight. Because she was smart enough to comprehend and use aspects of our language, Coco could show us what all great apes are capable of, reasoning about their world and loving and grieving the other beings to whom they become attached, Barbara King, a professor emerita of anthropology at the College of William and Mary, says by email. Equally important though, she raised our awareness of the costs to animal individuals of our scientific curiosity about other sentient lives, says King, author of How Animals Grieve. Even as we celebrate her life, we must remember that Coco was made to live in confinement in a highly unnatural way from her infancy through her death. Research and interaction with Coco and Michael, as well as other gorillas, have proven that great apes have language abilities comparable to little children. Teaching Coco and other animals sign language rather than attempting verbal communication was a great leap forward, according to Anne Russon, a researcher at York University. Coco's attitude exhibited emotions akin to those of humans, in addition to language. Among the numerous human-like characteristics that distinguish Coco was her sense of humour as well as playful mischievousness. In addition to Michael and Coco, there are a few additional animals that possess a high level of intelligence. One of the most intelligent animals is our closest genetic relative. Chimpanzees are native to sub-Saharan Africa and share 98% of their DNA with humans. They are skilled tool users, and chimps have been observed improvising tools from available items to make what they require. These great apes use psychological strategies as well. Within their own families, they will persuade others to complete specific tasks. Scientists discovered adult members of a family unit teaching their young sign language, which is a unique fact regarding chimps. The most intriguing aspect of that revelation is that there was no human intervention or encouragement at all. The chimps taught the children sign language and were using it to communicate amongst themselves. A video of a chimp scrolling through Instagram recently became viral on the internet. However, it came as no surprise to primate researchers who are aware of how intelligent our closest relatives are. And it was far from the first chimp to captivate the public's attention with extraordinary abilities. Washo, the chimp, became the first non-human to acquire American Sign Language in the 1970s. Behavioural scientists taught her 350 signals and she was quickly able to compose basic conversations. However, in 1982, she astounded her keepers by displaying empathy and a mother's anguish at the loss of a child. Washo, who was 17 at the time, had grown close to a pregnant volunteer named Cat Beach who worked at her university's Washington campus. The chimp adored Cat and would gesture to her bulging belly and exclaim, baby. She had been pregnant herself, but had miscarried both of her children, one due to a heart abnormality and the other due to a respiratory disease. As a result, she developed depression, but Cat's growing belly piqued her interest. Washo was clearly perplexed and disturbed when Cat unexpectedly stopped visiting. Washo had the hump by the time she returned some weeks later and she gave Cat the cold shoulder. So Cat apologized to Washo and decided to tell her the truth that she had miscarried. As a result, she signed, my baby died. Washo gazed at her, then down. She finally looked Cat in the eyes again and carefully signed, cry, stroking her face and dragging her finger down the path a tear would make on a human, despite the fact that chimps don't cry. And when Cat prepared to leave that day, Washo signed, please person hug. It was a remarkable moment in a truly remarkable story. Moving on. Bottlenose dolphins are a species that are as significantly intelligent as chimps. How intelligent is a dolphin? To be honest, it depends. There are over eight species of dolphin, but the bottlenose dolphin is the most intelligent of them all. They have the highest brain size of any dolphin species, and they are the only dolphin without fused cervical vertebrae, allowing them to make human-like head nodding gestures. Dolphins can recognize themselves in mirrors, notice unfamiliar marks on their bodies in a reflection, recognize scenes on television, and have an outstanding memory. Dolphins have been found to remember their mates' cries even after being apart for more than 20 years. They have a vocabulary that is unique to their species, but when they come across other species of dolphin, they convert to a common language in order to communicate with one another. They have also been seen working together with members of other species, such as humans and false killer whales, in order to hunt more efficiently. 
The orangutan, like chimps, can use tools, acquire sign language, and has sophisticated social structures that include rituals. What truly distinguishes them is the cognitive ability to comprehend the why or the reasoning behind a particular action. An orangutan in captivity has learned how to use tools and how to build a basic structure. When researchers released him into the wild, they saw the same orangutan creating tools from what he could find and then erecting a similar structure to protect himself from the rain. Given that it shares almost 97% of its DNA with humans, it's no wonder that the orangutan is so intelligent. When compared to other animal species, their tool use is unparalleled. They can be taught to use a hammer and nails, and orangutans have even learned to siphon liquids using a hose. They are native to Indonesia and are critically endangered due to habitat loss. Let's hear your thoughts about these species in the comments down below.